Thank you, Harold, for that insight. I think the best way to avoid sitting too long in a DTM car is just to finish first. But that's not an option for your daily commute. We want every Mercedes driver to leave their car in better physical and mental shape than they entered it. As Harold said, efficient relaxation or activation is a matter of the combination, the right combination of more than one factor. You all know these massage chairs in shopping malls or at airports. Seriously, would you relax in an atmosphere like that? I doubt it. At Mercedes, we've got something way better than that. It's called active comfort. Active comfort efficiently packages several features in the car, from lighting to air conditioning, from scent to massage functions, and from heating to music. As a result, the whole environment in the car is actively adjusted to enhance the well-being of the passengers, simply by hitting one button. Looking further ahead, the car will develop even more to be your personal health and fitness coach. By using data from its own sensors and wearable devices, the car will know about your state of body and mind the minute you enter. It will keep measuring while on the go and will react accordingly. And we have more ideas to keep your well-being high and blood pressure low. The car will take responsibility as a personal assistant. I'm sorry, Harold. First field of activity, the Mercedes Me concierge service. When building our concierge service, we thought about nice hotels as an inspiration. In a really good hotel, you might just walk over to the concierge desk and get a recommendation for a restaurant, including a reservation for that nice table by the window, directions and transportation. The next day, you might stop by for advice on places to go, things to see, and the tickets for a show in the evening, all discreetly arranged for you. Sounds great? I agree. But why not enjoy this kind of personal assistance at places other than expensive hotels? We want to provide each and every Mercedes driver with this individual convenience. That's why we launched the Mercedes Me Concierge Service. It feels like having a personal assistant inside your car, making your life easier and more enjoyable. Just think about the best moments you've had in the past few months. You might recall a great concert, a beautiful dinner with good friends, a special night out dancing, or a strong game on the golf course. Things like that. What you certainly do not want to remember is ordering the tickets, making the reservation, or calling the taxi to get you there. That is the exact idea. The Mercedes Me Concierge service will be there for you. The best thing is, it works inside your Mercedes as well as outside with a simple click on the Mercedes Me app. It is available today with our new E-Class. Like this one here on stage, more models will follow shortly and your in-car personal assistant will take over even more annoying tasks in your daily life. Consider this, if there's one thing I love about cars, it's driving. If there's one thing I dislike is parking. I'm not talking about maneuvering a car into a space, even if that can be a hassle for some too. We've already solved that problem. This E-Class here, remote parks directed by a smartphone app. The big issue is finding a parking spot in the first place. How often have you arrived at a location well on time but we're still late because you spent another half hour finding a place to park. What if your car took that problem off your plate too? That is what we want to do. Right now, we are testing community-based parking in Stuttgart, together with our partners at Bosch. Mercedes cars are packed with sensors. Up to 55 kilometers per hour, they automatically scan the side of the road to find a suitable spot to park. Now, 
we want them to share that information. Location and size of free parking spots are sent to the back end and forwarded to other Mercedes cars in the area. As the first step, we are going to provide drivers with information on areas and streets that have a great likelihood of free parking space. As the next step, we plan to share real-time information on your closest free parking spot. And we are also going to show data on free space in public parking garages in the head unit of Mercedes or the Mercedes Mi app. We are also pushing a second parking project. If your car exactly knows where that one untaken space in that parking garage is, why shouldn't it just drop you off at the entrance and drive it there himself? And later pick you up when you return. Parking simply will not be an issue in your life any longer. And you've got extra time to do what you like to do. So once the car is conveniently parked, why shouldn't it just sit there and wait? Here's how it can work for you in the meantime. None of us ever seem to have enough time, yet our cars have plenty to spare. The average private car is parked for nearly 23 hours a day. How can we level that mismatch better? After all, cars are machines. Machines are supposed to work for us. Just imagine you forgot about a birthday tomorrow and you need a present as soon as possible or you know you'll be in big trouble. Or even worse, it's your wedding anniversary tomorrow. Yet ordering at the last minute is one thing. Getting it delivered on time is another. It's a pain for all of us who are busy away from home during the day. Because that's exactly when the postman will deliver your stuff when nobody's home. The result, on Saturdays, the post office looks like this. Everyone is there with you, happily spending more of their precious time waiting in line. So, how can your car, with all of its free time, get you out of this mess? The answer, use the car as a personal mobile mailbox. First, it's easily accessible for the postman on the public road. About 60% of all smart city cars, like the one here on stage, are parked outside on the street. Second, it's safe. Deriving from our car-to-go car sharing experience, we can use both hard and software to make cars easily accessible and safely locked at the same time. Third, it's reliable. High standards in terms of insurance, liability and data security apply. With DHL, we found a strong partner to start this service in Germany now. You can also order at some of your favorite online shops like Amazon, All You Need Fresh and Fashion ID and have your goods delivered directly to your smart. Our new service is called Ready to Drop. Let's see how it works. First, you need a smartphone and a connectivity box inside your smart. When you order something online, you generate a transaction number and type it into the address field. With this code, the postman will be able to find your car, open it only once and leave the parcel inside your trunk. This also works the other way around if you wish to return something and need someone to pick it up from your smart. It's really easy. The beta launch is going to start this fall in Stuttgart. We will continue in Cologne and Berlin and roll it out across many other big cities in Germany. We also plan to bring this service to Mercedes cars early next year. If you want to join in now, simply apply at smart.com. And we have more tools to support you. Last year, three young employees working in different functions at Daimler came up with an amazing app idea. It's called Petris. And today is their demo day. Please welcome the Petris team, Sebastian, Gabriel and Tony on stage now.
Hi guys, tell us more about your app. Yeah, so I think everyone knows the problem. You are at the furniture store and you're buying stuff and you fill up your shopping cart. But when you then reach on the parking lot, you find out, okay, I have no idea how to fit that into the trunk. And that's exactly the, the, the thing that what Pegasus is helping you with. Pegasus shows you what and how it fits in your car. And the coolest thing is, it shows you before you even leave the shop. Wow, that really sounds great. Now, uh, how does it really work? So first, you download the app from the App Store. Second, while you shop, you scan the barcodes of your app and scan the barcodes and get the information of the packages you want to load and put into your trunk. And third, Pactris gives you the message about how all the boxes fit into your trunk and how much space is left in case you want to shop more. Wow, that sounds really good. I know this problem very well. Actually, uh, I remember last year at our Digital Life Day, uh, I met you guys, and you were presenting this idea, and it was nothing but an idea at that point of time. Now, uh, several months later, uh, where are you now? So it was, a, it was a really great time, So because we were able to do it in kind of an in-house startup next to our normal job, and we are, proudly in, uh, we are proud to announce it, that Pectris is in the Apple App Store since yesterday, and right now we support the Smart 44 and the Smart 42, but we will add uh, further models shortly. And after all, it's been just a year from idea to app. Wow, that is really amazing. I can assure you none of our cars is developed in one year, mm -hmm. and many other things neither. So you obviously have done an amazing job here. Thanks a lot, and congratulations to your Go Live event yesterday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, Petris is one out of many proof points that Daimler is more and more returning to the startup spirit this company was built on 130 years ago. It also shows that packing, loading, and delivering is a big topic for us. We will show more innovative delivery ideas from our Mercedes Benz Van colleagues next week. And again, these solutions will be even more convenient once we get closer to fully self-driving cars. A fully self-driving car could, for instance, pick up groceries or laundry from the dry cleaners, get the kids from their soccer training and grandma from the dentist. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, let me point out one more time. Everyone is talking about digitalization and the connected car. All of that offers huge opportunities. But one thing is also very clear. Software alone will not be able to take you from A to B. It is the total package that makes for a great mobile companion. People will get more and more chances to really use and enjoy their traveling time today and even more so tomorrow. We do not exactly know what the car will look like then, 10 years from now. But we do know that it will be of great value to all of us. That's why our cars have long begun to be quality time machines. They help you to win back time through technology and enhance your individual freedom to decide what you want to do with your time. And again, that freedom of choice always includes driving a car for pure pleasure. We will certainly never forget that at Mercedes-Benz. Today, we have focused on ideas for the inside of the car. Of course, we've got many, many more. We will bring some of those to Paris Auto Show by the end of the month, as well as some great new Mercedes and smart products. So be sure to tune in. Thank you very much.